So let's take a look at Hopscotch Lesson 1. How to make a character basically go up, down, left and right with the tilts of an iPad. So I'm going to start a new one. I'll select a character here. Um, it doesn't matter what character that you actually select. Um, and basically we've got our uh, menu system down the left hand side. You can see their motion lines. Uh, controls and so forth. I'm just going to open up my motion one because motion is just another word for moving which is good to talk to the kids about and you can see my little drop down menu there it gives me some functions so if I press the drop down menu here it will give me some options about um, what to do so I'll just press that once um, so we're going to start our first command is when I tilt the iPad left and so we select that and what you need to talk to the kids about first is X and Y, and X is moving across and Y is up and down. So we can bring in some mathematics here. So I'm going to drag across, I'm going to touch on the block that says change by X and move it over. Now it says change X by a distance, I'm going to select um, 100. Um, I don't really know how far that is at the moment, um, but I'm just going to test it 100. And then I'm going to actually test it, so I'm going to press play to see if it actually works. So I'll press play, tilt my iPad left and see if it actually changes left. So I press play, move it left, and it goes right. So that means it's going the wrong way. So this is where I would talk to the kids about always testing your code first, and then I would change it to actually minus 100 because we want it to go along the X axis to the left. And press enter, test it again, and this time it goes left. Um, and I'm going to repeat that process. So I'm going to select start a new script. This time I'm going to select when I tilt the right pad right, I'm going to change by X again because it's going left and right, and I'll select 100. I'm not saying minus 100 because it's going to the right. Press Enter. And if I scroll up, you can also see that now I've got a little grid at the top. I'm actually going to move my character by touching and dragging into the middle so that when I press play, um, he's in the middle. Now, if I turn it... Uh, tilt my iPad left, it goes left. If I tilt it right, it goes right. So I'm going really well. I'm actually coding my character to actually work. I'll start a new script. This time I'm going to select when I tilt the iPad down. Instead of changing by X now, I'm going to change it by Y because now I'm dealing with my Y axis and I'm going to put in 100. Once again, I'm going to test it. Always stress with the kids that we test our code before we move on. And if I press it down, it goes the wrong way. So very easily fixed, great problem solving opportunities here for kids. I'll do minus 100. I'll start one more script and this is when I tilt the iPad up. It's going to change by Y 100 because I use minus the other way. So there's my up, down, left and right code. Really, really easy. I press play and now I've got up, down, left and right. The reason why I put just a hundred distance is because I didn't want my character going too far before I wanted him to change direction. So there's tutorial one, um, uh, all about making my character go up, down, left and right through tilts of the iPad. Um, really easy to do. This would be my starting lessons with my students. Um, and this will be lesson one. Next lesson, we will look at um, including some other characters in our game um, so it becomes more of a game-like um, a, a game sequence of lessons. Paul Hamilton here signing off.